Today, I'm saying Italian words because I'm making Italian food. Can you guess what it is? It's pizza! And I want to share it with my friends. So I'm making each of my friends a little pizza so we can have a pizza party. Making a pizza is like being an artist. First, you have to paint on the sauce. Hold up your brushes with me and pretend to paint sauce on your pizza. Ready? Swish, swoosh, swish. Beautiful. Next we have cheese. Yum. Now grab a big handful of cheese and pretend to sprinkle it all over your pizza. Bravo. Next comes the most fun part. We decorate. Ta-da! What do you think it looks like? I think it looks like a pizza pig. <laughs> oink, oink! 
It's Jayla's favorite animal. Zoe likes cats. Do you think I can make a cat pizza? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Having a pizza party, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm making little pizzas for a party with my friends. That's a wonderful thing to do. Did you know God loves parties too? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today is a party day, and I made special cupcakes for it. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my garden party cupcakes because each cupcake has a different food from a garden. And when they are all together, it looks like one big garden party. Isn't that great? That reminds me of a story. If you're ready for a story on the count of three, Yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about celebrating. We celebrate a lot of things, don't we? Birthdays, Christmas, New Year's Eve. But God wanted his people, the Israelites, to celebrate for a different reason. See. The people worked in their gardens every day. They grew lots of food, but it was God who helped them. God made the sunshine. God made the rain to water the plants. God made the food grow. And God wanted the people to take time to thank God for all he had done. So that's what they did. They got everyone together. Sons, daughters, workers, people that lived in the town, people that lived out of town. Everyone came and they did what God said and celebrated for, are you ready? Seven days! <laughs> How many is seven? Can you count it with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! <laughs> they celebrated for seven days and seven nights. That's a long time. It was a big way to say thank you to God for helping them. Hey, let's celebrate God and say, thank you, God, really loud. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God. Yes. <laughs> thank you, God, for all your help. The people could have joy all the time because God was helping them. We can all have joy all the time because God helps us too. Does God still make the sunshine? Yes! <laughs> Does God still make the rainfall? Yes! Does God still help the food grow? Yes! <laughs> God is still helping us all the time and we can celebrate that. We can have joy all the time. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God helped the people. And then they had a big party to say thank you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, the people in our story had joy and celebrated God because God helped them. We can have joy and celebrate God because God helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm thankful to God for all the food we have, especially pizza. And I can't wait to celebrate with my friends. See you next time. Arrivederci.
A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22.